Hey guys, what's up? It's Abby. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here, then hello. Thank you for clicking and be sure to like and subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you're coming back again, thank you for putting up with me. So today's video is a little different. I really enjoy being in nature, so I felt like it would be best to film in a place where I feel comfortable. Um, and the topic I'm going to be talking about today isn't something that's like easy or light. Um, if you've read the title, it's about cutting off toxic people in your life. So the older I get, the easier it becomes to um, cut off people who no longer serve me or who continuously exhibit toxic signs, um, whether it be bullying, teasing, um, not supporting me again and again, because I realize that, you know, the older you get, the more life experience you have and the less you are able to put up with the bullshit that you put up when you were younger. So that being said, I'm going to go through three different examples of people who I thought were close to me that I had to cut off recently just because um, they weren't healthy people um, and kind of how you can set and limit boundaries for yourself if you are in a friendship or a relationship um, that isn't serving you anymore and it's not helpful to your physical, mental, or spiritual being. So the first one is a friend that I had for about two years um, that I met in college and it wasn't really out of the well it was out of the blue like we had gotten in a fight previously um, over something like that I think could have been resolved when we just talked it out but she refused to talk face to face to me. Um, and when you have people who refuse to talk result, talk about issues with you face to face, then you already know that you're kind of dealing with a relationship where the person has already decided the direction they want it to go in. And if someone's not even willing to sit down and talk with you face to face, then that's probably a sign that that's not a type of person you, um, relationship you want to feed or have in your life person. You know, they consistently whined throughout our friendship, whined and complained about whether it be their job, how much they were getting paid. A lot of times it was boys, and this was a big issue for me because I don't have a problem with people who, you know, anyone who wants to date a boy or be in a relationship, I don't have a problem with that. I think with anything, it's a problem when you start to make it your whole world and your whole center of being. Because whether it be your career, um, your boyfriend, a relationship, a family member, um, identity, a mental illness, you cannot solely allow those things to control who you are because those are things that may affect your life, but you as a whole are separate completely from all of those things and you're your own individual. So consistently, time and time again, it was like, she was wrapping her self-identity into guys and I kind of took issue with that because it was something for me that was concerning um, not only as a friend but just like someone looking on the outside in it didn't seem like healthy and she would continuously choose her guys again and again over her friends including me so when of course you know when I called her out on this she said that I was verbally abusing her um, refused to talk in person, denied it, you know, and here's the thing guys, when you confront a person who does not want to dig deep inside themselves, there's nothing that you can say or do that can change their mind. It's going to be a lot of denial and a lot of dismissal. And it's really frustrating when there are other people, you know, who also see these issues going on with this, you know, you just kind of, in those situations, you really do have to walk away. Um, it almost be the bigger person because like I said, no matter what you say or do, it's not really um, going to draw a horse to water or to drink, especially when the horse is in denial. So that is one instance that happened fairly recently. And while it really hurt because it's like, I am a very communicative person. So even if you don't want to be my friend, um, I'm really receptive to like the reason why I'm really receptive to what you have to say. Um, one of my other big issues with this person was they kept saying, oh, I don't want to hurt your feelings by telling you the truth, but continuously it refused to actually say anything. So I took issue with that. 
so that was just one example and I don't regret it I think that you know each relationship serves a purpose some longer than others and some people are meant to be in our lives for a very short period of time others for only a brief amount of time so the second person was someone who we had been friends on and off like we worked together for a long time and when I was in college and like they would consistently like mock me tease me anything I was trying to do for myself um but then they'd be like oh just kidding girl <laughs> and one of those things I remember specifically one time they're like you'll never amount to anything like right before I graduated college and then they were also consistently flaky but then they're also like I'm a Christian so it was just like super confusing um and they said that um the most the last straw was when they I was at a concert and they sent me a text regarding my Instagram post but also bailed on my birthday insulted my editing they insulted my lighting they didn't understand that the lighting process was part of the editing it was this whole thing and then they sent me like um you know pray to your god in westboro baptist church and like that's extremely exalting they sent me a photo of a very um it's the sacred heart of jesus held a lot of weight to me and not only that like my grandmother um had a lot of my late grandmother who i was very close to had a lot of like symbolism and respect for living out her life um through that image and through that saying um, that is related to saints and my religion. So not only was it extremely insulting, uh, it was just mean. Like, why are you 28 years old and you feel the need to like set up a group text and I don't even work with you anymore. You flake on my birthday and like try to tell me how I need to dance and how I need to do my Instagram videos. Like, get a life, dude. So cut them off. Um, the last one I'm gonna get to it's a little tougher because it's a family member so like you never want to think that you would have to um, limit your contact with a family member but when they're toxic I really do think even though it's your family people say that blood is thicker than water but you know when it's time and time again nag after nag like verbal abuse after verbal abuse and it just brings like you down and like because here's the thing a bully serves a bully. A bully does not serve you because if a bully served you, then they would listen to what you're trying to say. They would change their behavior. They would be like, oh, they wouldn't. But like a bully literally lives to see you have a negative reaction to tear you down. That is literally the role of a bully. And so I finally was like, no, I'm not going to do this anymore. It was just someone who um i used to be close to at one point and it was just like unprecedented unprecedented comments whether it was oh you know nothing um downing on my intelligence you know just snapping out not liking and like anything i had to say it was never good enough and you just get to a point where it's like okay like i know because I'm a person who I will come for you if you come for me. I will not come for you if I don't have a reason to. Like my neutrality is probably like at a five. It's just who I am as a person. Um, so people get really confused when I like get really angry and it's like, but I don't understand why because it's like you had this constant buildup and that brings me to my other point. You promote what you permit. Um, one of my youtubers i watch shallon lester go look up her video says this um so the longer you allow behaviors and friendships and people like this in your life who only want you to be their therapist or you know only like want to show up at what they want to show up to or you know whether just nick and like nag at you whether it be a brother sister family member like cousin and uncle um girlfriend boyfriend whatever the longer you stay in that relationship and refuse to set boundaries for you, then that is a green light for them to continue that behavior. Um, but like I said, bullying and these relationships, toxicity is all about control. And once you cut off the source of control, which is you allowing it, then you cease that toxic behavior. And honestly, guys, I don't know what's better, taking control of your own life and cutting out toxic people or you know just moving forward and vlogging on a sunday in front of a lake i really don't know what's better so thank you so much for watching um and i want my if you took anything out of this video or 
not, please just take out this one thing is that um, you're not alone. You're a strong individual and you don't have to allow people because there are millions of people in the world. You don't have to allow toxic people into your circle or into your psyche that is valuable to you and your talents because your time is valuable. You are valuable and stop filling it with negative people who only radiate negative energy. So please take that away from this. Like I said, I do new videos every week. So be sure to like, subscribe, turn the bell on and trap out.